sometimes we're in the marketplace for a new canner, whether it to be replacing one that we're already using, or maybe you're buying one for somebody who's new to home canning and you're trying to help them out by getting a new canner for them. I would like to take just a minute though to talk to you about being safe in your canner choices. Many types of foods like our relishes, jams and jellies, home canned tomatoes and fruits can be safely canned in a boiling water canner where you just need a stock pot large enough to put your jars in submerged under boiling water on a rack. However, more and more people these days are interested in pressure canning. And here there are some other decisions to be made about selecting a good pressure canner and one that will keep your food safe for you. One of the hot items in the marketplace today are these electric multi-cookers that might have a canning or preserving button on them, but I would like to tell you that any of the recommendations we have for pressure canning low acid foods from either the University of Georgia or the National Center for Home Food Preservation are not meant to be used with these electric multi-cookers. Instead, you should consider using a more standard pressure canner that is sold just for that purpose. I have two styles here, even though there are a few others in the marketplace. Some of them use a dial gauge, and some of them use what we call a weighted gauge that helps control the pressure when it's built up in there and keep it at pressure for safety. One of the biggest mistakes that some people make is using the advice of friends or family when canning their vegetables or meats. And they may be referring back to really, really old practices. There have been some cases of botulism in the past few years from people not properly processing their home canned vegetables, and particularly green beans, but some others also. So please make sure you choose a pressure canner that is of a minimum size needed for canning. That would be holding at least four quart jars in the canner has a uh, recommended system for measuring either 5, 10, or 15 pounds of pressure on a weighted gauge or multiple choices on a dial gauge. And then make sure you also use good, sound, scientifically tested recommended processes for canning foods. And for that, you could consult So Easy to Preserve from the University of Georgia or the National Center for Home Food Preservation. But don't let illness be part of your home canning activities.